Hey Capricorn, I hope you're doing well. Uh, this is going to be your general September love reading. Any information you need, you can find it down below in the description box. We are going to go ahead and get started here for you, Capricorn, and see what we get. Okay, the situation here. Six of Cups and Justice. All right, we got Scorpio and Libra energy here. How is Capricorn feeling? Ooh, okay, you guys have three majors here already. You have the devil and the hangman as how you're feeling. So uh, we got Pisces and Capricorn energy here. How are they feeling? How are they feeling? Two more majors. My goodness, the chariot and temperance showing up here. Cancer and Sagittarius. And what are their actions towards you in the month of September? Six of Pentacles. And the Three of Wands. Okay. Somebody could have their moon in Taurus or their moon in Libra. You may be an Aries sun with some Capricorn placements watching this or a Scorpio sun with some Capricorn placements. You don't have to be, um, but it is a possibility. Let's look at the Six of Cups and the Justice card showing up here. What's going on with the Six of Cups and Justice? Nine of Pentacles. Okay. I feel like you're working through some kind of issue from the past. And I do feel like who, whatever you're working through here in regards to your love life, I feel like this person has already begun to move on from this. However, with justice showing up here, I think they're bringing in some kind of communication here. Um, you know, I do feel like the tables have flip-flopped here. The tables have turned in a situation. You could definitely be involved with a Libra. I think Libra got a similar message, um, but not quite. But I do remember saying that in Libra's reading. Um, it's interesting though. I feel like there's somebody here who is, uh, slow, things are slowing down for them basically. They're having to reflect a lot on whatever went down here. And with justice showing up, there could definitely be communication happening. And with the Nine of Pentacles here, I feel like this is as you're beginning to work on yourself, invest in yourself, work on your money. Some of you working on a move of some sort. Maybe you're trying to move here, Capricorn. But as for your feelings, you have the hangman and the devil. I think you still feel a little bit of a tie to this, if I'm being honest, Capricorn. But you do have the hangman, like you're feeling kind of stuck on this. What's going on with the hangman and the devil? Eight of swords, yeah. I mean, I feel like you're having a Oh, goodness, yeah. Ten of swords. You feel like this is over. I don't think it's over, okay? Um, I really don't. Uh, this could be with a Gemini, but yeah, I think you're very much in your head about this here, but you start to focus on yourself. I do see that as the overall situation. It's just that in the current energy, I think you're feeling stuck on it, okay? The chariot and temperance is showing up as their feelings, okay? So I know you don't want to hear this, but I do feel like they're moving forward. A lot of you don't want to hear this anyway. They're trying to heal and move forward from this. It's not really clear to me what happened. I think somebody was just trying to focus on their responsibilities, possibly with the nine of pentacles. Yeah, queen of pentacles. Trying to focus on their responsibilities. Ten of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, that is where their focus is at this time. Somebody could have Mars and Pisces. You could be dealing with another Capricorn here. But somehow, I, I feel like something is, um, you know, with the Six of Pentacles showing up as their actions, I feel like somehow they end up giving to this, okay? Because Three of Wands, sending something out. Six of Pentacles, literally giving, <laughs> okay? So what is happening here? Because they seem like they're all fine and dandy and you're really torn up over this. But then we have this energy of you working on yourself and some kind of clarity or communication coming in. What's happening? Page of Swords. Yeah, they're watching you. They have seen something here. Six of Wands. They've seen something here. I think for some of you, you're getting a lot of attention. Let's clarify this a little bit more. Let's see what's going on here for Capricorn. Death. Two of Pentacles. Oh, you have made it clear that something is over, something has ended, and then that's when they kind of show up here. That's when they want to show up um, to explain something here with the Two of Pentacles. It's like there's been some kind of inconsistency, and I think that's what's driven you to this point of just, wow, this is stressing me out too much. I cannot focus on this anymore. I cannot let this happen again. You have the Page of Swords showing up. So I feel like, yeah, and the Two of Pentacles, again, I feel like the tables turn here, and they go absolutely crazy with this Page of Swords energy because they notice that, you know, you're not kind of, how do I explain that there? 
like you're not right there where they left you basically capricorn is the energy that i feel this could be a scorpio or a leah anything new coming in for capricorn and love because you do have the sun that represents something really positive some of you you could oh wow okay a gemini maybe a virgo or an aries here or somebody who has venus and gemini virgo or aries However, I feel like you could end up involved with somebody where it leads to long-term commitment. You have the Ten of Pentacles right there. Excuse me. That could be what brings this person back in. Um, is because they realize that you are investing in something else. You've committed to something else with that Four of Wands energy. Laying down new roots. Ten of Pentacles completely invested elsewhere. So yeah, I think that is what kind of pulls you out of this energy is connecting with someone new. And you like that feeling. It feels good. And then Knight of Swords, they kind of feel you detaching. And there they go. There they go. Very interesting Capricorn, but um, yeah, it's something that's not over. I feel like there is some kind of explanation coming in. However, you're going to continue to move forward is how this feels to me. Of course, that's completely up to you. Let me mark you off this list here. But that is what I'm seeing. Um, I do read over on Instagram and TikTok as well if you guys want to join me over there. You could also check out my other channel if you're interested. It is listed down below. Everything's linked down below for your convenience, Capricorn, if you're interested, of course. But if not, and if this is where we part, thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye.